right, it was about time for another solo adventure. Today I got some more chicken and green apple drink. And finally got my dad a hat. I actually got two hats because I liked one of them. I liked them both actually. I'm not sure which one I'm going to give my dad. I might end up giving the other one away as a gift if I find something else that I was looking for. I actually haven't found yet. I wanted to, even though I'm not a beer drinker, uh, I noticed a lot of people, at least in Sisaket, wear these uh, Chang shirts, which is the, like one of the biggest beer companies here. And I wanted to get one, because that would make me feel like a, I guess like a local. Or at least matching my girlfriend, which, as I understand, is something that's a big deal here, and she really likes also. So I wanted to get one of those, and if I do find that, I'm probably going to give mine away. It's just obviously somebody in New York. But we'll see. Lots of beauty everywhere. Uh, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I know I miss things there, but... I'm not ready yet. So much food, so much to do. There's no way you could experience it. You could live here your whole life and not experience it all. Actually, most people probably do. It's the same way in America. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I'm just not ready to go home. I've always liked the adventure. But I got myself a green apple drink. Pretty good to me. Uh, and of course, more chicken. Yeah, I figured I'd just do another round while she's taking a little nap. But there's a lot of local shops to check out. I know I've already showed you all this, but whatever. I might film different stuff this time. I'm on the opposite side of the road as I was yesterday. More delicious food. Squid. A currency exchange. What is the US dollar? Oh, US dollar is 31. See, with currency exchange, if you are gonna go that route, uh, like straight up cash, you want to get the highest possible number if you're coming from, a, you know, one of the bigger countries like United States, Europe, whatever. Uh, vice versa, if you're going to America, you want the price to be really low. Um, I believe. Again, the first time I've ever had experience exchanging currency was coming to this country. So that might be the exact opposite advice to give, but yeah, I think it's pretty accurate. Um, yeah, having said that, I still think the best option, it might not be possible for you. Definitely not right away right now because the, you know, ASQ situation, you have to quarantine and then you gotta uh, go someplace, but I digress. The best option, I think, is just to open up a bank account here and also, before you leave, allow your bank, go to your bank and tell them to allow purchases in Thailand. Um, when you do those two things, there's, I can't remember the app right now, but there's an app where you could pretty much at the closest possible flat rate you could get, exchange currency back and forth between your banks. Uh, cash is still king here though, that's, that's just the truth. There are some things you can't do with just cash. I mean, I'm sure there's uh, prepaid cards you could buy to keep loading money on. I didn't have to look into that route. Uh, I came here uh, to meet my girlfriend. And because she lives here, obviously she has an account. So for me, I got really lucky. I expected my card would work here because it was a visa. And I <laughs> don't expect things. Don't assume things. You know that goes. Um, 
And I also assumed that my phone would just take their calling card and work. Uh, so I was going to get a SIM card. But, and my Galaxy, my phone's a Galaxy S7, so I figured that's one of the more popular phones in America. I figured it would, it would work. And maybe it does, and I just can't figure it out. But I, tr I tell you, I tried for a couple days to figure it out, and I couldn't. I ended up buying a phone here for 2,000 bucks. Still less than 100 bucks. It's not the best phone, but it'll work. Anyways. That's all I got for now. Check back in later.